Welcome to Coach Padel. In this video, we are going to discuss how to read external JSON file in jQuery Ajax. Suppose in a scenario where the JSON file is stored in another location or, or maybe in a project folder. So here we see how to read the external JSON file using the jQuery Ajax. So before studying the Ajax, let's understand what is Ajax. Ajax is a set of web development techniques using many web technologies on the client side to create asynchronous web applications. With Ajax, web application can send and retrieve data from a server asynchronously without interfering with the display and the behavior of the existing page. In this example, instead of Visual Studio, we use the VS Code. VS Code is abbreviation as Visual Studio Code. It is a free source code editor made by Microsoft for Windows, Linux and Mac operating system. And it features us, includes supports for debugging, syntax highlighting, intelligent code completion, snippets, code refracting, and embedded Git, etc. So let's first see how the Visual Studio uh, install in the Windows machine. Then we can go through our example. To install Visual Studio code, type in the Google as Visual Studio code, then hit enter and go to the download link. According to the operating system, the Visual Studio installer is present here. If you have used uh, Windows machine, then you can download here. If you have used uh, uh, Linux and uh, for Ubuntu or Red Hat, you can download accordingly. And also if you have the Mac operating system, you can download here. I have already downloaded for my system. And uh, here it is my Visual Studio code. And in the Visual Studio code, we can see how to read the external JSON file using jQuery and Ajax. Here I want to create my project. So to open the Visual Studio code, press the shift command on your keyboard, then right click in your mouse, then open PowerShell window here. In the PowerShell window, to open the VS code, just type code, then dot. Code is the short form to open the Visual Studio code. As we are working on client side, so I need to create a HTML page and a JSON page. And in the HTML page, we uh, use uh, jQuery and Ajax and uh, read the external JSON file. So here we need to create a folder. That folder name is read external JSON. Once I create the folder, you can see automatically it will create it in this path as well. So inside the folder, we need to create a file. The file name is HTML. Let's hit index.html. So create the JSON. Let's name as sample.json. So we need to add sample JSON. Let's hit first name, last name, Smith. Let's add the location USA. Save it. Once you save it, you can see here my index file and the sample JSON file is also present here. So here my static sample JSON file is ready and in the index HTML, I want to read the JSON file. So let's first add the, some HTML content here. HTML head body then let's format it right click and uh, click on the format document it will be automatically formatted for us then in body part just add the diff in this diff I want to print the JSON data so in the head section we need to add the jQuery and uh, Ajax method to read the sample JSON file so to access the jQuery, we need uh, the latest jQuery CDN, latest jQuery file. You can use uh, the previous version jQuery as well, according to your choice. Go through the jQuery CDN. This is the jQuery 3.5.1 is the latest version. Go for the minified version here and copy this path and paste here. For now, we may not require the integrity and cost cross origin. So let's remove this. Here we need to add the Ajax method to read the JSON file. So script, let's type equal to JavaScript, text, JavaScript, 
then dollar dot ajax type is get url we need to pass the url of that json path so here the json is present in our root folder so we need to pass accordingly sample dot json then if it is success then we need to add the function then response first we need to add in the console then later that we add into the div let's first see the, in the console the response is print or not save this in vs code one extension is called as live server you should install the live server i have already installed that after installing the live server you can just right click on that particular index file and hit on the open with live server it can hit to the browser okay one thing is mistake uh, the spelling mistake here so response then let's inspect this now you can see that in the live server the response is printed here so when i expand the object class you can see that the first name last name and the location in the sample.json file are uh, up and here so this is perfectly working to use the simple line of code how to the call the external json file here our the external json file and here we use as ajax method and it is type as get method because if you want to read the data from the sample json right and you need to pass the url here our sample.json file in the particular project so we need to pass as sample.json if you have the external sample json if you have stored the sample json in a different location so accordingly you set the url then if it is a success then it get back the response message and in the console.log we print the response but we want to append the response into the particular div and show the div message here so how to do this let's check that so here instead of console.log we want to append here on the div then div div dot append to enable the word wrap go to the view and toggle word wrap first name response dot first underscore name then b attack then last name again the beer tag then location response dot location that's it and I run the development server okay there is something missing here you can see the first name and last name is printed and after that there is some process mistake okay that's mistakenly type here and the location just copy this and paste here and you can see here now the data is printed so in the simple way we can read the json file using the ajax and the jquery i hope this uh, simple example will help when you communicate with the json with the html file and using jquery ajax you can get the data accordingly so that's it in video. Thanks for watching.